here is the review of Transformers Alternators Smokescreen. And joining me in this review is my dad. Hey, what's going on, y'all? So, Smokescreen here is a Subaru race car. Yes, a Subaru race car 2000, 2003 yes. Rally. And it says it on both of the doors here and also the the roof. Now, if I'm right, these are real actual cars from what we say 2003? Yes. Okay. This was actually an original race car. They got sponsors and sponsors everywhere. Of course, I can't hardly make Snap On, Dynamo Systems. What else we got here? STI. STI. Yeah. Well, I, I believe that's STI. No, I can't make up that very small reading. It also has some like Sp Spanish writing here on on the windows here. Now let's turn it to the back and these are real rubber for the tires. Real rubber. It rolls really good. Okay. And also um there, there is a J Japanese version, but in Japan they they were called Transformers Vinyl Tech, and also the 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 difference with with the American Alternators and the J Japanese Vinyl Techs versions of these guys is that the vinyl text has some die, die cast metal but for the alternators they they, they don't have they don't have no die cast in them okay no. okay okay because i remember that there was there was a series of these this is just one of them another one was i think uh, hot rod Am I right or wrong? Alternators. Yeah. I think I think I know somebody who has that. Let's turn it around. Let's see what the back end has. Oh, look at that. Still has Subaru. S30 WRT. I have no idea what that means. But it's 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 part of a license plate. So I really can't tell you. <laughs> it even has some tiny little writing here so let's see here what other features does this car have okay the the features that 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 these alternators have is and also the vinyl tags. And that is now now it's only on some some of these alternator. Not not all of them have these features, but some of them do. But but this one has a lot of features, and that is you can open up the trunk. Now, is that as far as the trunk can open up? I, I yeah. imagine so because of due to transformation. Okay. Yeah, yes. All right. He also has opening doors, and the back doors do open, but if you want to do that, you will have to, like, fold down the seats a little bit, then get your finger in here and open them. Uh, wow. Okay. And 
and also the hood opens. Yeah. And also, if I zoom in, he also has a a little engine here with the Autobot symbol. With the Autobot symbol on top of the engine. Who would have thought? Oh, and also the front tires do have a steering gimmick. It has a steering gimmick? Yes. Okay. And to do that, you come to the bottom here and then when you slide this left and right, the tires will move. Okay. I see. All right. And they're also ma magnetized. The tires are magnetized? Yeah, yes, really? on, onto th this piece here. Okay. Hmm, that's different. Let's, uh, let's see if we can take a look inside the car. Are you picking that up okay? Um, let's see here if we can yes. try and move it. How's that? You still okay? Are, are you like... I'm I'm seeing are you good? Okay. You you may wanna like Okay. Put it here. Alrighty. Now looking at the inside of the car you have a steering wheel here. You actually have some gauges in the dash. You have a door inside door panel. You have a mirror. And the seat for driver side and passenger side and in here you have the stick shift you have the AC grill along with other controllers in the dash so I think that that's pretty neat as far as uh, attention to detail of how a real race car or this one right here looks now remember we're going back to 2003 so this was a real world car made into a transformer. This line, the alternator line, did these for a couple of cars and this is one of them for race cars. <clears throat> okay, go ahead Colton. Now, Colton's going to have to help me transform him because he's he's quite involved in the transformation. Getting him from car to Autobot robot mode. So I'm definitely going to depend on Colton to help me and we'll get through this together. Because I know a lot about G1, but after that... <laughs> anyway, let's continue. I'm babbling. Go ahead. So to get him transformed, first what you want to do is open up the hood, hood and then take out the engine. Oh, take out the engine. The Autobot engine. It's very stubborn. There, there, there we go. There we go. And the these tabs here go into. I don't know if y'all can see it, but oh, there we go. Into like either one of these tiny tabs. No, no. holes okay. here. All right. And
and the the engine here can transform into a gun. And to do that, you want to take the b barrel here, flip it out. untap it, and flip it out. Hmm. And there you have his gun. Wow. From an engine to a gun. Okay. So now to get him in robot mode, um, open up the front doors, then, um, take the roof of the Cab. Ca car and untap it. Hey. And then, then you want to take the back here and flip it down. To about here. And you can see these tabs is where... They lock in place right there into these holes. Yeah. Then, then you want to extend it out. And then separate it in half. And then, then you want to bring what what will become his feet up, and as you do that, these slide up. Then take the back bumper here, untap it, and bring it forward which will make his feet. Then, well, but before you bring these in, you, you do want to come underneath here and push down on, on this heel here. Then take the back doors here and fold them down. Okay, so that's more like a stabilizer. Okay. Then you do the same thing on the other side. Then take his legs, bring them up. Then you want to rotate his waist around. And that's it for the legs. So we're done with the butt from the waist down? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> I knew that this was a very intricate transformer. Then take the seats here, untap them from here, and bring them down. Then you want to take these here and fold them up. And then peg them together and take his seats here and fold them up. Wow. Okay. 
and these two tabs are going to go in in these holes here. Oh, and also, these doors slide out. And for the arms, you want to flip up the hood and then come to the bottom here and flip them out. Well, for first you want to like untap the w wheels from these magnets here. Hmm. Then take the arms and and bring them out. So that they're like this. It, it is a little bit fiddly to do, but once once you get the hang of it, then you're you're good. Good job. So they're like this. Then you want to take this slider here and fold it down, and that will reveal his head. Hmm. And the hood here, well, yeah, yeah. The, the hood of the car does have this thing that you push up, and this will help you, like, feed the robot mode head through, through okay through through the hood here okay but 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 you will have to make sure that this is folded down and his chest will tap in and also, you want to take the roof here and fold it around. Mm. Oh, and take the steering wheel here and fold it down. Okay. And I will have to readjust my camera. For the arms, you want to, well, the, the easiest way that I do it is I rotate them like this and then bring them around, okay. around so that they're like this. Okay. Then strain his elbows down. Colton, you are awesome. You are. I'll still be trying to figure him out. And you're done. He's old. He's been collecting dust. Got to clean some of these guys. All in all, he's not a bad looking Autobot. But these alternator lines, like I said, they are very fiddly to transform to get from one mode into the other. 
You know, Colts and Refresh My Mind, is there a Mustang or a Viper in the alternator line? Yes. I, I thought, I, and one of them was also Ravage, was a car. Yes. But I'm not sure which car he was. Because uh, I remember the, one of them was called Ravage. R Ravage was in <clears throat> the alternator line. He was? Yes. Yes. Well, what was the Mustang or the Dodge Viper? Wasn't there a Mustang and a um, Dodge Viper? The the Viper one that was Sideswipe. Sideswipe. Okay. I'm going to have to look back at that. Like I said, we only have... This is the only alternator figure we have? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Now... The, the robot mode here looks really great. And I will have to, like, say this. Some of the alternators, some of their robot modes look great. And some of them just look really terrible. Terrible. The, the design, the design factor wasn't but, there. But, but his robot mode here looks really Really cool. good. Yeah, spot on. But, but I will have to mention, the, the, the alternators figures were, were just focusing on the cars. The sports and, cars. And not the robot modes, which should be the other way around. Yeah. Because because the well some some of the ro robot modes on in, in the car modes like a affect them. Okay. Okay. Now. You know what? I keep on looking at this, and I wonder if you could put little LED lights in here. I, I no, wonder, no. You don't think so? You, I don't know. It's just, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, man, I think I could put some LED lights in there. It's very, very small. Anyway. So, is hand articulation? Okay. For articulation, he has a... Oops. He had a sunburn. That was the light. That was the sun that just hit. For, anyway. <laughs> first, I have to zoom in. Head is on a ball joint. And at this time, there was no light piping yet that was per se into Transformers. I don't see no light piping in him. Yeah. There was no light. It was it was there, but it wasn't put in this alternator line for. He he has no light light, light piping. Gotcha. Arms can rotate, but you will have to move the doors out of the way. They go all the way around. And they they do move in and out, but. But it gets hindered by the, this piece and, here. And that's a magnet, right? Yes. Yeah, that's a little magnet for the bar. Autobot symbols on both arms. Really nice looking Autobot symbols. Double jointed elbows. And I will have the angle down. His hands are on ball joints, and his fingers have a trigger finger here okay. that moves, but the rest of his three fingers are just... Molded in place. Molded in place. Okay. I see. That, does his thumb move? No. Okay. Waist swivel. 
ball joint at the legs, knee joint, and that's it. And that's it. Is there any foot tiltage? Kind of yeah, per se. Yeah. yeah. Yes, but. Yes, but no. I got you. <laughs> it depends on how you, you but, place them. But, but it's due to the transformation. Gotcha. Awesome job, Colton. Awesome possum. Awesome job. And to have him hold his weapon, his hands on the inside. have holes where these tabs that I've shown you can, there. can fit in. Fit in his hand. Okay. Fit in his hand. Now his engine has become a gun that he can shoot. If you try and do that today, you're going to have a whole bunch of engine parts everywhere. Anyway. He is a pretty good looking figure for the time. The detail is really exquisite. They put a lot of time and thought into the transformation and articulation of how each part is going to articulate from one version to the other. I think. What do you think, Colton? I, I think he looks... Well, he he still looks great for its time, but but now that we've got the uh, official masterpiece Transformers, yes, and some of the thir third party companies, yes. which are making masterpiece figures, they they're able. The technology has finally caught up with the imagination of the toy. So now there's a lot more articulation, intricate stuff moving around to fit it from one form to the other. Back then, in 1980s, we got very little bit of articulation and a brick. But we had to use a lot of our imagination, and that didn't hurt us. So, uh, as far as the way he looks, for the time, and we're going back to 2003, it's, it's a decent looking good replication of what they were going for so my hat's off to him so I I think that that's about it so there you have it Transformers Alternators Smokescreen and I'm going to say Libba if you like this video like comment and subscribe, subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching.